Okay, in this question, we have data about heights of plants and their yield measured by 100 seed weight. We're going to be doing a product moment correlation coefficient. So the assumption that's necessary for this test to be valid, that's all we need to do in part A, is we need to make the assumption that both heights and weights of plants have uh, symmetrical distributions. In this case, um, we couldn't hope to conclude that from a scatter plot. There are only six points, but maybe we have other good reasons for uh, assuming that the distributions are symmetrical. So assuming uh, this assumption is correct, we're ready to go on and do part B, where we have to do the test. So the first stage in part B in doing the test is to get our hypotheses. So we need an H0 and an H1. H0 is always um, that there is no interesting effect, and H1 is the effect we're interested in. Now here, we are just interested in an association. Um, we aren't actually testing for, in particular, a positive or a negative correlation. So that helps us with our hypotheses. So here they are. I've squeezed them onto one line. Okay, so our null hypothesis is no linear correlation. We're doing um, a product moment correlation coefficient, so that's testing for how uh, well they fit a linear model. Okay, so H0 is there is no linear correlation between these named uh, variables, and H1 is that simply there is some linear correlation, we're not bothered about the direction. So that makes this a two-tailed test, because we are equally impressed by positive and negative correlations. Okay, so that was the first stage, hypotheses. Now we need to work out the test statistic. So our test statistic in this case is going to be the correlation coefficient, and we're doing product moment correlation coefficient, so it's going to be a value of R, and that's going to come from our calculator. So I'm simply going to enter the data from the table onto the calculator. So I need to go into stats mode, that's mode uh, 2. And then of these options, um, I need to do this kind of linear model here, A plus BX. That's the same one that we used for getting A and B. So that will give me the table. I'm going to enter my X and Y values. So there's my calculator with the data entered. So I get press AC to get off that screen. I do enter stats mode by doing shift and pressing the one key. And then I want regression. So I want... Um, Five, that's correlation and regression, and there's my R value, number three. So, whoops, not answer. So R is just 0 0.1821. Okay, having got my test statistic, the next thing I need is my critical value or critical values. If I can spell critical. Critical values. It's values in this case. It's a two-tailed test, so I'm going to have one um, positive uh, value and one negative value. So for a two-tailed test, I need to find the correct values for the critical values for the product moment correlation coefficient. Now your version of this table may look slightly differently, different, but this is the one for R, and it's the product moment correlation coefficient. So we have a two-tailed test, and the given significance level was 5%. So I'm going to be using this column, and we've got an N value of 6. So the figure I need is this 0 0.8114. And because it's a two-tailed test, so 0 0.8114, it's actually plus or minus. That I'd be impressed by either values above plus um, 0.8114 or values below negative 0.8114. Now the value I've got for my test statistic, I'm now doing the comparison. Okay, so um, comparing my R value with this, I can actually see that um, 0 0.1821 0 is actually less than the critical value 0 0.8114. So that's the obvious one to compare with the positive critical value. But I should also just check that it's actually bigger than the negative critical value. So what that means is that it's in between these two critical values. It doesn't fall into either end zone. We haven't uh, got into either critical region. So therefore, all right, we say this is not significant. It didn't get into the critical region. And therefore, we can say that we're going to be accepting uh, H0. That's in the technical language, but we need to um, actually draw our conclusion. So that's stage five. Conclusion is, okay, so it's, we're either going to word this, there is evidence, or there is no evidence. Because we didn't get a significant result, it is, there is no evidence. 
we should state our, 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 comfort, our significance level. So there is no evidence at the 5% level of, okay, uh, we were testing for any kind of association. So we'll say any correlation, or we could say linear correlation, because that's what we were testing for. Any li linear correlation between plant height and 100 seed, uh, seed yield. So I've concluded our significance test with a clear contextualized conclusion about plant height and 100 seed yield. I've mentioned the significance level. I've correctly said there is no evidence. We have no evidence that H0 is true, but we haven't had evidence um, that would make us reject H0 in favor of H1. So the conclusion is correctly worded to say there is no evidence. I hope that helps.